Hi guys, for this week's ROM review for the Nexus 6P and the Nexus 6, definitely check out Pure Nexus ROM, uh, which I've got running on my Nexus 6P. I'm going to go ahead and use the Nexus 6P to show you because um, most of the features are identical. The only difference is that uh, the 6P supports obviously fingerprint sensor um, for security. Alright, so I've been actually running CM13, I was running Resurrection Remix, um, and actually came back to pure Nexus. Um, it seems to be a, doing a pretty good job, uh, especially for Periscope, I was having trouble with some of the uh, other ROMs and I'm not sure what it was, but at, right after I installed this ROM, everything started working really well. Uh, as far as overall performance, is also excellent with this ROM. And you get the latest Android 6.0.1, obviously here. And one of the things I like about this ROM, apart from all the customizations you can do, uh, it's just the performance and battery life is excellent. Um, and for those of you still running stock and you get tired of running stock, maybe you want to add more features, uh, that may be a reason why you would install something like this. Um, very easy to install. And let me actually go ahead and show you all the customizations you can do. If you go into pure Nexus settings, uh, you'll find the developers who made it. Uh, by the way, developer Beanstown106 is the lead developer. He's an excellent developer, so don't forget to donate to their uh, cause here if you end up using this as a daily driver. Let me go ahead and show you some of the features you can do. You can customize all of these uh, features. Let me go ahead and do a close-up here so you can see better. Um, so. Uh, starting from lock screen, you can add lock screen shortcuts, right? I don't actually use that much because of the fingerprint sensor because it's kind of uh, overdone, but you can use it. Also, you can double tap to sleep anywhere from the lock screen. Uh, scramble layout, set lock screen wallpaper, right? I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm just going to show you some of the menus, um, some of the things I do use. All right, quick settings panel. Um, you got eight tiles, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Uh, if I want to put more tiles, what you can do, uh, for those of you new to custom ROMs, what you can do is turn that off, show four tiles per row, and now you'll have room for probably additional row if you want to, All right? You can go to select tiles here and go ahead and add more things. I'm just going to go ahead and add random ones to show you. All right, and now I have three rows. Um, so with stock, you're only limited to a couple, but with this one, you can go ahead and add a bunch more. All right, and CM13 has it also, but you get a two columns instead of a bunch of this. Um, so that's nice. Also brightness slider. That's very handy if you're in the club or something. You can just do that go back and forth, uh, do the slide, do, do the slide thing, do the slide thing, alright, uh, recent apps, there's a bunch of, um, you can do the full screen recent apps, sort of like slim recents, I think that's what it is, uh, navigation bar, um, double tap to sleep, alright, you can double tap on the navigation bar to sleep if you want, just an additional feature, I'm using a Sony RX 100M4 by the way, Kill app back button, sort of an old custom ROM feature. Ah, let me let it focus here. All right, um, recent long press. It will go to the last open app. Buttons and layouts. You can go ahead and add like a menu button if you want down here, uh, right there, or power button if you want. If you use that often. Also, navbar dim dimensions, if you want to have more space for your actual screen, you can actually go ahead and change that. Sorry, my camera <laughs> seems to not like to focus. It's actually trying to focus in my reflection. Alright, just do this. Alright, no more reflection. Um, also, you got a bunch of more uh, customization. So, you get the idea. Oh, let's look at power menu. This is kind of nice. Uh, screenshot screen record which is nice so now I have screenshot and screen record yeah All right so you can easily do that um so pretty nice ROM a lot of customizations you can do uh, for your Nexus 6p 
All right, Pure Nexus ROM is a pretty excellent ROM. I really like it, um, so definitely check it out. And to install this ROM, you do have to have your bootloader up late, updated uh, to the latest MMB 29P. That's the video I uploaded uh, yesterday, so check that out. I'll have a link to that if you haven't updated. Uh, if you're coming from completely stock, you don't have to do that because you'll have your bootloader updated. Um, also, you can go ahead and just try installing the ROM if you're rooted already. If you end up in a boot loop, then you can go ahead and update the bootloader afterwards. That works too. Uh, but pretty solid ROM, and this is my daily driver for this week. And probably next week I'll have another cool ROM. But if you have any ROMs that you've been using, uh, that's cool with everything working, stable, definitely let me know. I'm happy to try them out. I'll leave your thoughts in the comment box or hit me up on Twitter. I check out my Twitter often, um, like every hour. So if you have any questions, you can also tweet me for the fastest answer back. Um, I'm going to have more stuff coming with the Nexus oops, no, Note 4. Uh, probably the Resurrection Remix ROM for Note 4. It's also working uh, flawless on here. So I really like that. I'll have that coming soon. Um, this one has sort of the modified USB camera, which is kind of cool. Alright, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys soon as always. Stay on Android.